Now it's time to meet a new animal. The new animal is the buffalo. A buffalo is a wild ox, an animal with a great shaggy head and strong front legs. Herds of buffalo, also called bison, used to live on plains of the United States. The Story of Barnaby Buffalo Barnaby Buffalo loved toasted cheese sandwiches. They were a special treat in his family. They did not have them very often because they did not usually buy bread. Sometimes his dad would buy a loaf of bread and some cheese. Mom would make the most delicious toasted cheese sandwiches. How they loved them! Barnaby Buffalo finally had 50 cents all his own and he was so excited. He could go to the store and buy anything he wanted. He had made up his mind that he would buy a loaf of bread for toasted cheese sandwiches as a treat for his whole family. How excited Barnaby Buffalo was! He wrapped his 50 cents in a handkerchief and held it tightly so he would not lose it. Papa Buffalo loved toasted cheese sandwiches. Barnaby Buffalo could see him now as he lifted his sandwich, took the first bite and said, Barnaby Buffalo, what a wonderful treat! You were so unselfish to think of your family. Barnaby Buffalo could picture his little sister with her toasted cheese sandwich cut into small pieces. Oh, Barnaby Buffalo, she would say, you are a sweet mother. I love toasted cheese sandwiches. His mother would not say much, but she might look at him as she sometimes did with a special smile and say, I'm proud of you, Barnaby Buffalo. You were so unselfish. His brother Benji would have his mouth full before he could say anything because he was so very fond of toasted cheese sandwiches. He would say, Barnaby Buffalo, old boy, you're a real pal of a brother. Near the bread store, he bumped into Barry and Beefy, two buffalo boys on Bison Boulevard. Hey, Barnaby Buffalo, where are you going? Gonna buy some bread, fellows. I've got 50 cents and mom said I could buy anything I wanted. Bread? Why would you buy bread if you can buy anything you want? Because I like toasted cheese sandwiches. That's why my whole family likes toasted cheese sandwiches. We're going to buy banana splits. Barry Buffalo said. Banana splits? I like bananas, but why would you split them? You mean you never had a banana split, Barnaby Buffalo? What is a banana split? A banana split, Barnaby Buffalo, is just simply the best treat there ever has been in this world. What's so great about a split banana? Barnaby Buffalo asked. No, no, Barnaby Buffalo, you don't understand. The two boys showed him a huge picture on the ice cream shop window. See a banana split? Starts with a banana. 
Oh, a split banana, said Barnaby Buffalo. Yes, but that's not all. Look, Barnaby Buffalo. Then they put on three scoops of ice cream. One strawberry, one chocolate, and one vanilla. Hmm, said Barnaby Buffalo, beginning to be a bit hungry. And then, said Beefy Buffalo, they put on some pineapple sauce and some chocolate sauce and some marshmallow sauce. Barnaby Buffalo's eyes grew white. And then, said Barry Buffalo, they put on a great big dollop of whipped cream. And a bunch of nuts, said Beefy Buffalo. And a cherry on top, said Barry Buffalo triumphantly. Barnaby Buffalo's mouth was actually watery. He could smell the banana. He could taste the whipped cream. He could see the cherry. He could feel the cold ice cream on his tongue. Wow! Sounds good! Barnaby Buffalo said. Come! Go with us, Barnaby Buffalo, and get a banana split. But... I was going to buy a loaf of bread, said Barnaby Buffalo. Oh, come on! You don't want bread when you can get a banana split! Come on! And they half led, half pulled Barnaby Buffalo into the ice cream store. Well, sure enough, they made the banana split just as Beefy Buffalo and Barry Buffalo had told Barnaby Buffalo. First, a banana split, of course. Then, three scoops of ice cream. One chocolate, one vanilla, one strawberry. And then, some pineapple sauce and some chocolate sauce and some marshmallow sauce boy oh boy it looked good barnaby buffalo could hardly wait and then a big dollop of whipped cream and then a sprinkling of nuts and then a big red cherry Oh, how good it looked! The three sat down to eat the banana splits. The banana did taste delicious and the ice cream did feel ice cold and good against his tongue. The sauce was sweet and sticky and the whipped cream was light as a cloud. For a little while, no one said anything. Isn't that delicious, Barnaby Buffalo? Aren't you glad you got a banana split? Barnaby Buffalo wasn't too sure at this point. He was afraid. Yes, he definitely did have a kind of stomach ache. And there was lots of banana split left. But it just didn't seem to matter anymore. Uh, uh, I think I'll mosey along home, fellows. Barnaby Buffalo said, I don't feel too good, really. Okay, Barnaby Buffalo. See you later, said the other two, busily mopping up the rest of the whipped cream. Barnaby Buffalo staggered out 
he really felt a little sick. Could he really have paid 50 cents for that? It sure hadn't lasted long. Why had he let the boys talk him into it? Now there was no money for the loaf of bread, and he had so wanted to give his family the fun of eating toasted cheese sandwiches. It was a very quiet Barnaby Buffalo who went home. Somehow, it did not seem very important now to have what the other boys had. Eating all that ice cream alone did not seem very satisfying now. It was all gone in such a hurry. And now, he could not do what he really wanted to do. Give his family a treat. I am sorry to say, that Barnaby Buffalo was not too happy at all. Sometimes, boys and girls, we wanted to do what everyone else does, even when it is not good for us. Sometimes, we see something that looks like fun, but when we try it, it turns out not to be fun. Sometimes we forget that the most important thing in life is to please God. We decide we want to have fun or to do what everyone else is doing. We may have fun for a little while, but soon we are sorry. It is most important to choose carefully what we will do so that we won't be sorry later. Doing wrong things may seem to be fun, but the fun will just last a short time, and then we will be sorry. This word steadfast means that you keep on doing what is right. It means that people can count on you to do what you ought to do. It is not enough to do right some of the time. A Christian must keep on keeping on. That is what being steadfast means. Be ye steadfast. 1 Corinthians 15.58 Ready, sing. A buffalo went to buy some bread, but bought a banana split instead. Buffalo reads B, B, B. B reads B, B, B. 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 B